So uh, happy that they put Stu in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was only joking about that in our last video. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure. It, have you seen how it works in like Breath of the Wild, the new Zelda? Uh, no. Well, it seems to work like that. So you can put different recipes together, and they have different benefits, like a uh, increased hydration or stamina. Oh, stuff. that's cool! Like healing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. Okay, my character's stamina is just. I need to start taking a look at my. Um, Megan's above ground. What? Um, um. What? Megan's above ground. She's just. She's just almost killed me, Belt. She's above ground. I'm not even joking. <laughs> oh, she can fly! She can fly, Belle! This isn't fair! I need to get in the water quick. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, my God. She's like... She can do like a, a spinny attack, a fidget spinner attack when she's under the, under the water. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm so dead. I can't... I can't get you to save you. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I, I might have this. Even the cannibals are, are, are struck by it. Where did she go? There she is. Well, at least we know where she vanished to. No. So yours... I mean, hopefully then, if I take her out up top, then you'll be able to get yourself free. Oh, the bow glitch is back. The bow glitch is back. Were you fighting her at some point? I was fighting her, yeah. She was nearly dead. She's injured. Like, she was so hurt, I could, like, she was... If I'd gotten in, like, a few more bombs or something, she'd have died. And then she just vanished. Apparently to the overworld. Oh, she's let out a load of the babies, one second. Oh, this is so freaky, though, seeing her above ground. It's really cool, though. Oh, we got her. Okay, she's good. She's good. We're good. Are you free? Uh, no, I, I mean, I'm, I can walk freely around the office. I just can't do anything. Okay. Like, because um, I need to put her body into Megan's, the thing to continue. Megan's body is above ground. Oh, I'm outside. You did it? I'm, I'm in the caves, but I'm outside the, uh, the end game. Oh, nice. So you can get back out? Mm-hmm. Okay, see if you can get to me. You'll be able to see Megan. I don't want to pick her up in case it teleports me back down <laughs> into the cave system. <laughs> right, here we go. Moment of truth. Uh, okay, she was apparently in the dirt. Okay. Now... Now, is there anything near me that I can pick? Wait. Oh, no, it's not, it's not putting Megan down. Wait, maybe this? Oh, no! Bill! <laughs> I have a cannibal and Megan. Um, okay, can we make it through Endgame without you? Well, I'm it won't. About the path down there. You, it won't put her down anyway, will it? No. Can you get into your inventory? Uh, yeah. Okay, equip the scuba gear. Okay. And we're gonna go do Endgame. Okay, this is not gonna go horribly. <laughs> This could turn out to be the best glitch in the game ever. If, but if, it, would it you, could... Did you happen to be like recording like as you... Yeah, yeah, I got the whole thing. Yeah. Do you know what would really make this game hardcore? If there was like a backpack limit and um, pe people like characters, especially if you played on multiplayer, had specific roles. Like um, you were an expert in starting fires, etc. I was an expert in like catching fish. Or catching, you know, animals and things like that. That'd be a really cool method. That way you need to work together in order to survive. Like one person mm -hmm. for hunting, one person for obviously crafting the fires and etc, etc, etc. So I'm hoping the door's open for you. Well... Because it's open for me. It's ne touch wood, it's never... Yeah, it's open for me, but it's never happened to me. You know, the... Well, I'd say just hold on a second it, and... It's going to happen to you, Bell. It's not loaded in for me yet, but if I wait a second, it will do. When I turn oh, around. Oh, that's... Okay, Frames. you jump out the way right. a second. There it is. <laughs> oh. Oh, <gasps> we both made it. Just grabbing some red paint. 
Right, is she still... Am I still... Okay, there's the first obstacle, Belle. Can you not climb up ropes? I can't really... Oh, well, you, you were for a second. I was, and then... I can't kinda... get back down. I can't actually help you. <laughs> She's kind of stopping me from doing it. Um, it won't let me get back down through the hole. I, I can literally do nothing. Can you grab the rope? Uh, can I grab the rope? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I definitely thought of that too. Okay, what I want you to do is beat me up outside of this door. Uh, like, okay. Yeah, so I go into basically the fall animation, you know, where you need to pick me up, where I'm wounded. Yeah and see if uh, that lets go of the animation. Because if not, it looks like me and Megan are stuck together forever. Go for it. You had to choose that kind of weapon, didn't you? You want to inflict the most pain as possible. Well, I mean, I figured you'd want as much damage as possible. You're not holding her anymore for me. Okay, I, I mean, at least we tried. There there's probably a way we can get through, like if we really try and glitch it, but... I don't know if it's nah. worth it. I'm fairly with, with certain. With how spotty this area of the map is, we're just going to fall through. Yeah, like the amount of times that we fell through like one of these panels before. They're, they're definitely, I'm like 95% sure they're going to drop a patch like in the next either couple of hours or next day, and then we can get back to it. Seeing as though we're down in this cave though, before we do all of that, should we see if the bow is down here? Mm-hmm. I've right, looked let's... as far as I can and I haven't found it. Yeah, but did you search that part of the cave system back where we were no, before? No, I couldn't find it. Also, okay. is my planet purple for you? Um, like, is that like pink and purple splodges? Yeah, kind of. A little bit. I made it poisonous. And that's what it's got on it. But none of the other weapons, when you poison them, have that on them. That I can see. Right, I'm thinking... Seeing as though this cave's changed a lot, that the bow is down here somewhere. Now, I think there's a Virginia charge in you as well. <laughs> just, gonna, just gonna ignore her. That's so weird the way she's so, like, she acts like that. Leave me alone. Oh, there's another one over there too. I think, oh, what was that? I think that was one of the Dude. babies. Oh no. Babies. Okay. Are we heading this way? Okay, yep. So, oh, look at this! We were onto something, Bell, because there's, there's one of those, like, oh, kind of... Oh, the ROV. Yep. So this cave definitely had significance. Let's go. Oh, I need to get my debris. <laughs> okay, what's it? I'm really excited to see what it looks like now. I wonder if it's going to be one of those um, compound like the, uh, bows. Compound ones? Yeah, 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 that'd be so cool if it was. So this is the cave that we've... Oh, that's cool. Look at this, Bell. Come to the surface. Oh. I've never noticed this before, but if you push those... Oh, look at that, the wood. Okay, Fooster. No, I've never seen that before, so it's all new to me. Okay. Right. You yep. just enjoy that. No, no, this has all changed too. This mm -hmm. was here last time. The uh, this weird um, submersible thing. Oh, what a launch! Launch! Start the fire. Some more bullets okay. there. So. Oh, I found it! I found it! I can see the icon here. Like it's oh, on there. Hello. There it is. Right. Let me take this off. And there she Where is. is the it? modern bow. Oh, it's like right next to the old one. That's kind of cool. It, it, Ooh, I think I, like I had a, a toy like this when I was a kid. I never had a, a toy one. I had an uncle who made bows with us. That was fun. I can't really... There it is. That does look cool. That does look really cool. I want to go and try it out now. Yeah, I think we should. Now, is there anything... Weird noises as usual. Is there anything else down here while we're here? Circuit boards. There's boxes and stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of booze in the corner. Bunch of booze? Bunch of booze. Oh. In fact, I should tell people, if you guys are wondering where to get the brand new bow from in the game, which is the modern bow as of update 0 0.69, 
It is in this cave where I built my base. I'll show you guys which one it is. It's the, uh, it's the one you actually get down to the bottom of the sinkhole in. And once you get into the room with the Virginias and all the creepy babies, it's just over to the right hand side, which I'm sure you guys saw from the video. But just so you guys know, that's where you get this from. And what we're doing right now is we're heading back to Bell's base so I can see what he's been working on because I haven't started on a new base yet. He's actually going to show me something else from this update. And it's something that we mentioned, actually joking about in the previous episode when I said to Belle, I wanted to make a stew from the rabbits. They've put that in the game. You can actually make stews now with different, obviously, meats in the game and stuff and berries and things, which have a different effect on the player. So we'll see you guys once we get over to Belle's base. You've got plenty of mushrooms around here, though. Oh, oh yeah. I like that. Have you built in the middle of it so, you, so there's no way in? Mm-hmm. Ooh, very cool idea. They walk along the bottom, so I put rock walls around it and they drown before they can actually take down the base. That's really cool. I like what you've done it's with the zipline thing. Get Ow, that is so cold. I've never actually noticed the colour of this lake. It's a really cool colour. You've put like stones all the way around it too? Yep. Three layers of walls. That was like uh, 1500 rocks, I think. It was horrible. All your meat's rotten outside. Yeah, but that glitch will work, so. And there's so many rabbits around here. I really like the colour of the lake, it looks so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you can you can kind of like fit through the uh, floor to grab the uh, water and stuff. That's yep. handy. Look at you with our like the internal um what would you call it? Internal design? It's not the thing I'm looking for, is it? What do you call it? Interior design? Interior design, there you go. I think internal design is something much, much different. But it's looking cool, Belle. Looking very cool. Thank you, I grew it myself. I hope at some point the devs do make like a customizable character. You know, so you can pick what you wear, like. Mm -hmm. It'd be so good. You just put a nice touch on the multiplayer version. I'd also like them to add like um, like random bits of clothing around the world you can get that'll help you. Like you can get like climbing gloves and archer's gloves and stuff and it increases your health. I remember when I made the episode of the uh, the climbers, you know, over underneath the mountain. They've got like big um, ski coats on and stuff like that. So that could, you, I mean, if you could use that, it'd be like an extra layer of warmth, but if you go down into the lower parts of the map, It'd be too hot and it drains like stam quicker or something. I don't know. I don't know how mm. you work it. Would be good. Oh, you're making the stew? Yeah. Oh look at that, you can see it's the just mushrooms. Meat and stuff. mushrooms. So how does this work then? You just you just put the pot down and then you, you can just stick it in like you do with water. Put the food in. Like if you look at it you can see you've got the quick select thing. Yeah, and you can and that's just how it works. You you can put a head. You can actually put a head in there. Yep, put anything you want in. Uh, even like the aloe and and stuff. So we've really got to play around with these recipes then to see kind of top three yeah, or maybe... Yeah, you can eat that. Wait, what, wait, what's in it? Nothing, just like deer mushrooms and meat, but eat it quickly before it burns. Okay. Right, here we go. First stew. Where's the animation? There was the animation. Okay, what did that do? Currently feeling good. I think the stew worked, Bell. You're, you're very welcome. That will be two thousand American dollars, please. <laughs> two thousand dollars for that stew? It's not like I can do anything. Well, actually, from all the um, the suitcases and stuff, I think I might actually have that. Let me see. I got fifty-five cash that I can give you right now. That's it's close. I will take you instead as my indentured servant. Right. So I'm going to make you a stew. Okay. Is it going to be poisonous? Because I don't want to die. Can you actually make poisonous stew? Probably. Okay, uh, let's go Did with... you fill it with water first? Yeah. It cool. was. It has been filled with water for a good few days. We'll throw oh, some of that in there. Sounds delicious. Throw some of that in there too. Maybe one of those. Right, Bell, it's cooking. I can't tell you what the ingredients are. All I can tell you is it's going to have a bit of a kick to it, okay? Is it a head? And I can see poisonous mushrooms in it. No, there's not. There's not. Pay no attention to that. Like I said Look before. It. It's, it's clearly poisonous mushrooms. Bell, I've depoisoned them before I gave them you the... Before I put them in the stew. Okay, if I if I die, I'm gonna haunt your ass. No, you won't. You're not gonna die. You're gonna turn superhuman after you've after you've eaten this. 
There you go. It's ready to go. Look at that. I can hear a cannibal too. Look, there's going to be no flinch. Look at that. See? You doubted my chef skills. And that was the I best stew you've I ever do. had. You've definitely got some neighbors, but they're not, they're not making themselves known. I can hear them. Okay, so what I did in that one then was I put some meat, like a variety of mushrooms in. And I think I put, um, yeah, I put chicory in there too. All, all of my stats are on 100. But, yeah, it's going to be difficult to tell then, isn't it? Like what, what kind of attributes it gives back. Mm -hmm. Because most of the time, players keep everything topped up. Stam, hunger, high dehydration and stuff. So, I mean, if there's... It's, it's probably a first pass. That's probably what they're working on. But it would be nice if you got like some kind of indication as to what's boosted, like a stamina boost or a hydration boost, health boost or something from the recipes that you have. Either way, even if it's not for that and it's just for like novelty and stuff, I think it's cool. Just a different I mean, way of cooking. That there's like a, a recipe section to the book. Like if you find a good recipe, it'll tell you what was in it and what it did. And you can know for the future. I can confirm that the new modern bow is not a one-shot takedown. Disappointed me. I hope that this would, like, kind of knock them on the back a little bit, but it doesn't. Oh, that was a headshot. If you got deer skin, like, getting hit once takes away most of your armor. Right. This cannibal here has had three shots into him. Oh, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Just trying to get a feel for how many arrows it... it it is to take them down. I don't know about you, Bell, but that looks delicious. And some blueberries, so... Is that just to add a, a little bit of flavour to it? A little bit of flavour, yeah. Into the yeah. cannibal stew. A little bit of sweetness to offset the unami of the cannibal. Right, are you are you eating this, or...? or I'm going to eat it, yeah. Okay. You can eat another one it. if you want. Oh, I can already that hear your character. Really I was <laughs> gagging on that all the way down. I'm not surprised. Have you seen how long their cannibal's toenails are? Ugh, what did that do? It dropped my sanity by 10%. Uh, oh. I lost fullness, lost hydration. Okay, lost so cannibal stew. Energy, stamina, armor. <laughs> I lost, everything went down. You lost everything. Cannibal <laughs> stew cannibals. is a no-no. Yeah. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna live dangerously for a second. I'm gonna watch. I need to eat. I need to eat that thing in the flashing because I'm so I'm not used to it. Like the old uh, version of the game that we had, we had that bug where we didn't need to eat. Now I'm seeing it everywhere. Right, we're gonna live dangerously for a second. I'm gonna watch you fire at this target and see how you get on. Oh no! I hope nothing happens to you. If you shoot me, I will make you a brand new stew. Go. I want a stew. That was... Where did that go? <laughs> I don't know, because the arrow went which is like straight up on it my screen. It looked like it was coming straight in for the target, but then it, it just veered off. Oh, there we go. Oh, you got a bullseye. Nice. Very nice. Right, now you got to hit this one. Oh, okay, nice my bow is invisible. There it is. Got to hit that one. <laughs> oh, just went over the top, I think. Okay, so... Let's try that. Oh, there you go. Okay, a little bit high. Not as good as the first one. Onto this one. Oh, God, I can... That's not even rendered in for me. You can move in a little bit more if you want. No, no, I got it. Totally. And in before you shoot me. Oh, you got it. You got it. Just outside of the circle, but you got it. And then the last one. I, I'm going to have to come close for that one. It is nowhere near rendered in. Yep. Why is my render distance so low? Nice. You managed to get somewhat close to the target. Is it is it difficult in terms of like having to compensate for drop or yeah, not? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta... It's not... It's literally the opposite of drop. I'm shooting like a foot two feet below the target. Ah, uh, okay. So the power of the bow carries it further. All right, okay, I get it. Right. Well, it's all going to go horribly wrong, Bell, so I wouldn't stand near these targets, even though... You know what? I trust you, my dude. Yeah, but I don't trust myself. I think I'm pretty good with the uh, the crafted bow, 
But it no, might be a completely different story with this. Where did that one oh, go? It was nice. Uh, it was just on the edge of the circle. Okay. Uh, same place. That is so weird. It, it doesn't go where you aim it. It kind of does go up, doesn't it? It's like almost like in a straight line, even though you're aiming down. Okay, that one went straight down. They didn't even come close. I don't even know where that went. That one go too high? Yep, over the top. <laughs> this is going to be difficult. A miss? Oh, that just about hit the bottom. Like that, by this. Did that one get it? <laughs> like it hit the bark of the log. Just have another look, Bell, see if I'm hitting it. Uh, that was the very, very top of the zone. That was the top. That's so weird. It looks like he's hit perfectly for me. What about there? That's the bottom left. Oh my god. All right, I've given up. I can't see the furthest one. Where is it? There we go. It's rendered in now. The shaking isn't helping. Right, I no. need to relax. We got this, okay? We're not cold. We've got the deer skin on. Relax. Oh, he's shaking violently, Bell. Mm -hmm. Did I miss? Well, I was way over the top. Well, make me feel better about it then by telling me I did I didn't do good. You did you did a good job, bud. Just a little lower next time. Maybe actually hit the target. Oh, that hit the target just about. That one hit the target. That's so weird. There's also like a delay on it. I don't know where that one went. I can oh, tell you where that one went. There, there you go. That was good. That was better. Are you taking my arrows? No. First, you steal my bones. Okay, first of all, I didn't steal those bones. Second of all, all your arrows that you hit are there. Most of them just went like off into the horizon. I'm going to see. Right, so it, it's close range. It is. It's the tip of the arrow. But I have to steal your arrow. When we get further back... Like, even at this distance... Where did that one go? She's not the same. Okay, mid-range it is. Mid-range is the, the tip of the bow. But further back, like here. Yeah, it goes, yeah, it goes too high. So I don't know. You you really have to get used to this one. You have to dial it in a lot more than the other one. If you look very very closely at the bow, like the area above the arrow when you've got it pulled back, you yep. can see like tiny little ridges on the inside of the bow, the metal. Maybe you've got to aim with those. Yeah. I don't know. It would be. It would be. I mean, this is a modern bow, and as far as I know, oh, compound right bows and stuff, and modern bows, they do have like a, an an aim on them or a sight. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is a compound bow because those are the ones with all. No, like no, the, no. This is definitely not a compound bow. Bits. We um, we need to test it when we're not in the snow because it's not helping that we're mm -hmm. shake we're shaking violently. <laughs> so, um, uh, do you want to get down to the survivor camp? Yeah, first things first, I've just put a head on the fire. We need to make a nice. stew. It's stew time, but I need I need to fill up my pot. We're gonna we're gonna have a beachside picnic. That sounds Amazing. Awful. There's gonna be sand in the sandwiches. No, I'm not bringing sandwiches, we're having stew. Sand in the hula hoops. It's gonna be awful. <laughs> hula hoops. Oh oh my god, what is that? That's what? Um what have you done? There is a zombie cannibal. Oh. Oh my yeah. god, Bell. You... <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I saw it coming in. They do that. And it's the scariest thing in the world. Like, the first time I experienced it, I was listening to a horror story about zombies and stuff. And then to see that, like, just coming up behind me. That I was terrifying. Really I just glanced up to the left and saw this thing, like, was perfectly still. But gliding across the snow. It's terrifying. I don't like it. Okay, so you've had two races though so thus far. I beat you thoroughly. You beat Taco, and now we have to race again. See who wins. The decider. Are you calling me out? Will you put your glory on the line here today in this snow biome with the zombie cannibals? Okay, which direction? I'm nervous now. Which way are we headed? <laughs> Just straight. You ready? No, but we're going anyway. You count okay, as in. Three, 
Wait, 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 wait. Are we going on go? On the word go. Okay, good. Okay, so three, two, one, go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that's so cool! No, train! Lying. Nope. I got. Okay. I won. I got stuck. You won. Totally won. Oh, you're going for the fancy fire too. Right, I'll throw the pot down. And this is this is what we're gonna have. Okay, we'll have a little bit of that. Uh, where's the turtle? Not sure the Generic. turtle. I wish they'd add that. Right, you can have a rabbit. We can have a lizard. Uh, two lizards, apparently. You can have two mushrooms. Right, there you go, Belle. This one is your stew. Oh, you are so looking forward to it. This is like this is like a bodybuilder's stew. It's just full of protein. Mm, sounds delicious. Let's get that cooking a little bit. Get that temperature up. I don't know about you, but I definitely would not trust like raw meat as we cook like 30 seconds. Yeah, but you can trust me. Now come back before your stew gets cold. It's ready it's to eat. Fine. How's it going to get cold? It's ready to eat, Belle. It's going to go off. I've got my stamina left. I ran it down so we can test all the things. The time for testing is over. It's dinner time. How did that wow, go down? Okay. I've got full hunger, full stamina, and full health all from that. Is it beautiful? It was delicious. There you go. I, I found a little bit of salt, but you know. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool if you could make salt from the ocean. Oh, that's too far. That's too far. You know it's probably going to be coming in one of the next couple of updates. It is too far. You can now filter salt out of the sea. <laughs> this game turns you know what, into to a fucking game. It'd be good if you could have, like, um, like, distill the ocean water and everything. Yeah, this is all a really good conversation, good. but make me my stew, please. Whoa, okay. First of all... I'm over, here, I'm over here starving. I make you the most beautiful stew you've you ever tasted. Okay, you ready? Just actually, real quick, just make a mental note of that. What was it? It was lizard, rabbit, so it was two kinds of different meat. Um, and a couple of mushrooms. And that one refilled everything for you, did it? Yeah. Okay. Everything was 100. Right. It was delicious. My hunger's a little bit low. My hydration's full, but my hunger's a little bit low. My health is a little bit low, and my stamina is too. So, mm -hmm. what if we... What what kind of sick person are you? Okay, first of all... No, 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 first of all. No, I no, give no, you no. a beautiful stew and in you put cannibal toenails games, in mine. Where you can make things like this, okay? So you have like a regular meat and a monster meat. And if you combine them, the monster meat doesn't no. affect you. No, So I'm not listening. Test. Well, it's ready for you, my dude. Don't right, I'm going to eat this. If it does... Look, see, even even the gods are upset with this decision. Right, here we go. Mmm, sounds delicious. How, how was it? Oh, wow. <laughs> what? I'm not going to lie. That replaced everything. Health, hey, stamina, see, food. I told you. I did it totally on purpose. Right, let me see how I'm doing, though. Okay, sanit. Okay, my sanity I think stayed the same. Okay, it put a little bit more weight on me, but I don't mind that. I'm looking to thicken up during the winter. I mean, this Christmas period's coming up, so I'm looking to get a little bit round. Athleticism's gone up. Oh yeah. My athleticism went up. See, you put legs in your food, and it makes your legs better. Legs and cannibal toenails. That's the secret. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. Never skip leg day. This is what they mean by leg day. <laughs> oh it's my a God. Leg stew. Okay, so to summarize with this update, we've got the brand new bow, where I'm sure you guys know which cave it is. If not, I'll throw up a map on the screen right now to tell you exactly which cave it's in. But before you go down into the cave and make a left with the pressure plates, it's over to the right hand side. That's where the cave changes are. The second thing is obviously the stew, which I thought Bell was joking about when he first told me when I joined him in the game today, but they've added it into the game. We've been playing with the recipes a little bit with like the mushrooms and the meat. So far, I don't know what you think of it, Bell, but two pieces of meat with mushroom seems to be where you get like the chunk of stamina and health back. What do you think? I like it. It seems to be as good as its components, if not better. 
I'm sure if you play around with recipes, we'll find better things. Yeah, combining different ones. The one thing that you don't want to eat is what we uh, had before, the cannibal stew. It's still bad. It's still off the menu. Do not eat that yet. What did it do to you, you know actually? Did it I take... thought toenail stew was delicious. So don't judge it. It might have been delicious, but it wasn't any good for you. It, it, it chunked your health. Okay, my health went down, my stamina went down, and my hunger and hunger too. Not Everything. Hunger. Everything's going Everything down. Everything You're about down. to drop down to the floor unconscious after you've eaten that. The final thing that we found from this update is that they've been working on a bunch of performance fixes for the game. Which, I'm sure if you're a long-time player of the forest, it's always a good change for the game. It's a bunch of CPU changes, a bunch of GPU changes. Again, if you're still struggling with running the game, just fiddle with the settings a little bit and it should help. Because from what we've noticed today, from playing a few hours, the game definitely runs a lot smoother. There's still elements of lag, but it's a massive change. The one thing that hasn't changed, I don't know if you guys can see this, the birds are still crazy in this game. Almost as crazy as this guy here who ate a bunch of cannibal feet before. But you ate cannibal feet too. I didn't eat them. There is no proof of that. There's, there's a whole video of it. All right, you got me there. But I think, guys, we are going to end it here. Thank you very much for joining me, Bell. You're very welcome. You're just looking friend. around at the sky. Look, see? The cannibal toes have done something to you. You've got it. What's your sanity at right now? I want to know exactly what that sanity is. Uh, Let me see if I can read this book. My sanity is at 99. Lies. You're about 43 based off you looking at the sky. <laughs> Mine's at 97, so at least we know which one's going to fall first in this place. All right, guys, we are going to end it there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And we'll see you all in the next one.